Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we have some news on the current favorite to win the WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber, WWE, editing Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair's bot segment on SmackDown, and a lot more. But before we begin, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling news. Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza getting big push on Friday Night SmackDown. Now that Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza are going by the Lethal Lovers, aside from the name change, it appears that they will also be getting a big push. Because according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, their big win over two former WWE champions in Big E and Kofi Kingston indicates that Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza are set for a big push on the blue brand that could see them challenge for the SmackDown Tag Team titles in the very near future. Mia Yim on when she plans to make her return to the ring. Now that Mia Yim is a free agent, fans have taken to social media to ask her when she plans on making her return to the ring. While following her husband's in-ring debut on AEW Dynamite, Mia Yim took to social media to reveal her plans for her own return, where she said, that because February was a very busy month for her and Keith Lee because of their move and wedding, she decided to not take any bookings for the month of February. However, she did reveal that fans can expect to see her make her return to the ring in March. WWE could keep Mustafa Ali for several more years. After a very heated argument with Vince McMahon, WWE decided to keep Mustafa Ali off of WWE television, and even though he publicly asked to be released, his request was denied. Well, recently, Mustafa Ali took to Twitter to let fans know that he will see them in two and a half years, seemingly confirming a report from Fightful.com regarding how much time he has left on his current WWE contract. So unless the company decides to grant him his release, Mustafa Ali won't be going anywhere for at least two more years. Current favorite to win the WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber Following his big win over Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble with help from Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman, Bobby Lashley will have to defend his WWE Championship inside the Elimination Chamber against five other superstars. And from the looks of it, he won't be leaving the pay-per-view as WWE Champion. Because according to BetOnline.com, at this point in time, the heavy favorite to win the WWE Championship is none other than Brock Lesnar. Therefore, unless plans change, it seems like Bobby Lashley's WWE title reign will be very short-lived. WWE will edit Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair's botch contract signing segment. Because many WWE stars will be in Saudi Arabia for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view on Saturday, WWE had to tape next week's episode of SmackDown. However, during the tapings, WWE filmed a contract signing segment involving Ronda Rousey, Naomi, Charlotte Flair, and Sonya Deville. However, during the segment, there was a pretty obvious watch that WWE will be looking to edit out. Because according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, WWE will be editing the bot spot during the contract signing segment that will air on SmackDown next week. Therefore, it looks like fans can expect to see something completely different than what actually happened on SmackDown next week. Roman Reigns breaks character for a young fan. Despite the fact that Roman Reigns is currently a heel, he sometimes breaks character for fans. Well, during a dark match after this week's episode of Friday Night SmackDown, Roman Reigns broke character once again when he interacted with WWE superfan and Warrior Award recipient Jarius Robertson, giving him a high five during his match. Jarius Robertson, now 18 years old, is a longtime WWE fan who has battled with a rare liver disease that has led to dozens of surgeries. However, it is moments like these that really create unforgettable experiences. 
All right, guys, so going over the topics that we discussed today, the first topic that we talked about was Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza uh, getting a big push on Friday Night SmackDown. And according to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, uh, with their big win over uh, Big E and also Kofi Kingston, it does seem to indicate that uh, Angel Garza and Umberto Carrillo will be getting a big push on Friday Night SmackDown, which will be very interesting to see see in my opinion the second topic that we discussed was mia yim on her plans to make her return to the ring and according to mia yim she did say uh, she did tell her fans on social media that uh, she plans to make her return next month in march uh, the third topic that we discussed was uh, why WWE could keep Mustafa Ali uh, in the company for at least two more years. Fightful.com reports that Mustafa Ali has uh, several more years left on his contract. And Mustafa Ali recently tweeted uh, pretty much confirming that he has two more years left on his current deal. So unless uh, WWE decides to grant him his release, he will be staying with WWE for two more years. Uh, the next topic that we discussed was the current favorite to win the WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber. And no surprise here, the current favorite to win is Brock Lesnar. So I guess we will have to wait and see what uh, ends up happening at the Elimination Chamber if uh, Bobby Lashley ends up losing the WWE Championship to Brock Lesnar. And then the final topic that we discussed was uh, why WWE will have to edit out the Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair contract signing segment uh, because of a pretty obvious botch where uh, Ronda Rousey slammed uh, Charlotte Flair's head on the table. But Charlotte, I guess, mistimed it and it looked very bad. So I guess WWE will edit that out for next week's episode. So with that being said, guys, that is all the news that we have for today. Make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.